Et we can now uh, cross to uh, northern uh, France, to uh, Enin Beaumont, uh, where Jean-Luc Mélenchon uh, ran, uh, but uh, was mm -hmm. defeated a few years ago uh, against Marine Le Pen, who is on course to be uh, re-elected. Alison Sargent is uh, standing by with a member of Marine Le Pen's uh, national rally, uh, Arnaud de Rignan, who is a member of the city council of the northern town of Carvin. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, being with us. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon is hoping uh, to become France's uh, next uh, prime minister. What is uh, the reaction to uh, that optimism? What's your reaction to the optimism from Jean-Luc Mélenchon? Uh, actually, I don't know, but uh, I can say that um, I think that he will not be the next prime minister uh, because um, they had maybe a result at the first turn, but uh, how many voters from, from the first turn will be uh, uh, will gonna vote for him? I don't know. Maybe uh, uh, a very very uh, few uh, number of uh, votants. Uh, I think that uh, Marine Le Pen and his party uh, did a very very good uh, result because it's 19% uh, um, more than six points. Um, more than uh, uh, 2017, and also Marine on his territory is 10 points better than five years ago. But what about the fact that Marine Le Pen turnout was so low that she still has to go through and have a second round of this election? What does that say about her popularity here? Clearly, people aren't that excited to come out and vote for her. But she had also a second turn uh, five years ago, and she was just at 46%, uh, now 55 So. Uh, we see that it, it's a good, a very good result uh, for her. Uh, we will see at the second turn, but it's not a, it's it's not a bad result. We are very very satisfied, uh, and also for the national result, and also for the local result. It's not nearly, though, the, the score that we saw um, that, that left-wing new coalition get. Even though uh, Marine Le Pen and your party want to be the, the first opposition party against Macron, it seems like clearly that place has been taken uh, by the left. What do you have to say to that? But we saw that Marine is uh, the first opposition to Macron because at the presidential election, uh, she did uh, 42%. She did very, very good results, uh, clearly better than 2017, clearly better also than uh, 2017. Um, um, the direction before, and um, you know she's um, uh, she grew up um, election after election. So uh, we s we see in this election that we uh, will have uh, more deputy than before. Just ten years ago, uh, we we had. Uh, uh, any no no deputies um, in 2017 uh, um, uh, we had something like seven or eight deputies uh, now we see that uh, we can have uh, really really more uh, than uh, 10 or maybe 20 deputies we will see and is there any party that Marine Le Pen would be willing to work with at the National Assembly Oh, actually not uh, because uh, we can see any uh, party who um, is uh, friendly with us uh, and also uh, we are um, uh, um, as we have a, a better a really better scores than before um, we can uh, do a uh, walk um, at the, the next uh, parliament um, it will be no problem for us Okay, Arnaud Dorigné, thank you so much. Uh, as you can see there, Mark, a lot of optimism um, from Marine Le Pen's supporters, uh, realistic about this score, which is right about what they were expecting. It's not maybe as amazing as it could have been, but uh, they all that they see in Marine Le Pen's electoral history is just steady, steady upward progress. Alison Sargent reporting uh, from Enam Beaumont. Uh, thank you very much. Uh,